Hello, wanted to show you a really quick science experiment that you could do at home in your kitchen with stuff that you've already got. Before you start, you need to make sure that you ask whoever's at home if it's okay for you to do this so that you don't get in trouble in case it makes a little bit of a mess. Always obviously make sure you clean up after yourself. Right, so um, you will need for this, just balancing my phone so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you will need a chopping board um, and a knife. Make sure you get supervision when you're using a knife. You'll need a lemon. This lemon looks a bit funny because I grated the outside to make a lemon cake, but it'll work just the same. You also need some bicarbonate of soda, but if you haven't got bicarbonate of soda, you can also use like baking powder. Um, if, if you can't get that in the supermarket, either will work absolutely fine. Okay, what you mustn't use is like soda crystals that you use for cleaning because that's a different thing. So it's got to be the kind that you use for food. Okay, Wh whichever you use is the sort you use for food. Okay, um, you also need um, some food colouring, not essential, but like makes it nice. Um, so if you haven't got food colouring, don't buy any specially, but if you have got some, then you can put some in. Um, washing up liquid, um, a lolly stick, I've got lolly sticks, I don't really know why, but you could also use like a teaspoon, so again, don't buy them especially because they're not essential. Um, I've got some extra lemon juice in a bottle as well, um, that's really good for this, you don't need it, but it's good if you've got some extra lemon juice, but don't buy a bottle if you've just got like another lemon, you could just squeeze another lemon and that would be the same. Okay, so what you do for this um, first thing I'm going to do is just cut the bottom and you need to be really careful when you use a knife, obviously. Get an adult to supervise you. I'm an adult so I don't need supervision but um, there we go. And I'm just going to cut like a top, like a little circle out of the top. Again, be really careful when you're doing this. Make sure you ask, make sure you get some help. So there we go. Take that bit out of the top. So you see what I've left there? Got like a little hole in the, in the lemon. Right, what I need to do now is I'm just gonna put just some like little dots of food colour in. Again, you don't need this. You can totally do it without this. There's some orange. I'm not sure the food colour will even add to it. I think it will just probably all mix up some green. I definitely put too much green in there. So there you go, I've got my food colouring in there. I also need some washing up liquid. I'm going to put two lots of washing up liquid in just to be safe. My bicarbonate of soda or your baking powder. Again, it literally doesn't matter. This would have been tidier if I'd used a spoon. You should use a spoon. Oh no. That's not what I was going for, guys. No, oh, I've made a right mess now. Okay. Use a spoon when you put your bicarbonate of soda or your baking powder in because that is a bit of a mess now. All right. Right, what I'm going to do now, a bit more washing up liquid. Why not? Okay, now the reaction here is between the acid in the lemon juice and the alkali in the baking soda and the bicarbonate of soda. So if you actually look at the ingredients in the baking powder... Um, Okay, so it's got, I don't know what that is, disodium diphosphate, and it's also got sodium hydrogen carbonate. So sodium hydrogen carbonate's a base, and this here, look, is just sodium hydrogen carbonate. Right, so I'm gonna add some more lemon juice to this, just to get it going. There we go, nice little lemon volcano. And what I'm gonna do now is just, I'm just gonna poke around in it with the lolly stick, There, we, there it is just to get all the juice out of the lemon and reacting with the sodium hydrogen carbonate. This is actually working out way better than I thought it was. Look at that reaction, it's neutralization reaction. And the gas that's being produced is carbon dioxide. Let's have some more lemon juice. Whoa. There you go. And that's a lemon volcano. Now I've got to tidy it up. So make sure you clean up after yourselves too. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll try and think of another one I can do too.